Hi, this is Christian and welcome to NFL Updates Express, your weekly dose of NFL news. Coming your way, week 7 final scores. Jay Cutler showed his toughness and the Bears 13-7 win over the Detroit Lions. Jay Cutler took a nasty hit when Andamakan Sue nailed him into the turf. He was down on the field but came back in the game and is fine now. Ryan Broyles had his first NFL touchdown for the Lions, but the Bears' defense was a bigger story as they forced many turnovers, and that's what gave the Bears this win, 13-7. Arian Foster, Matt Schaub, and the Houston Texans demolished the Baltimore Ravens, 43-13. The Ravens' defense and offense were not that good at all. And the Texans look like the best team in the AFC and look like the strong favorite for the Super Bowl. Overall, the Texans won it 43-13. One of the most entertaining games of the weekend, it was the Washington Redskins and the New York Giants. Now, with about two minutes, Robert Griffin III threw a pass to Santana Moss in the end zone for a touchdown to give the Redskins a 23-20 lead over the Giants. But here comes Eli Manning. He throws over 70 yards to Victor Cruz to win the game 27-23. A big high scoring game as the New Orleans Saints beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 35-28. Joseph Morgan made an outstanding catch against the Buccaneers that gave them a long touchdown. And Vincent Jackson's blunder, he trotted to the end zone only to be tackled by Roman Harper at the one-yard line, which cost his team the game. Overall, the Saints won it 35-28. to Some Panther news. Panthers general manager Marty Herney is fired and Panthers linebacker John Beeson and cornerback Chris Gamble are out for the season. Packers safety Charles Woodson is out with a collarbone injury for six weeks. Jets linebacker Bart Scott will not play halting his 119 game streak and London Fletcher will play for the Washington Redskins, continuing his 231-game streak. 